Hi, it's Andy from GPS Training. We're very excited to be testing the new beta tracking function of the Motorola Satellite Defy unit. So what I'm going to do this morning, I'm going to go on a nice long hike, got my unit turned on, and rather than just using it for the normal messaging to send friends and family messages with satellites, I've actually got a new tracking function on the screen of my unit. So I'm actually going to go into tracking. I've set up friends and family who are going to receive a simple text message and email to say that I've started tracking. I'm going to start my tracking and then all my friends and family will get a little link that they just click on and then they'll be able to see me move across the map depending on what interval setting I've set. So what we'll do when we come back, we'll do some screenshots showing you what it looks like, what your family and friends get, what sort of message they get and what it looks like on the screen and the various tracking intervals that you can do on the Motorola Defy satellite light link device. So I've now come back from my walk where I've been using the Motorola Defy satellite link to beta test the new tracking function. So I just thought it'd be nice to show you the new settings on the app that when it's launched you will have access to to actually do this tracking function. So basically all I had to do was add some contacts in. So I actually added five contacts in a mixture of email addresses and mobile numbers. At this stage, we don't know what the maximum number of people are going to be that you can add in, but I did add in five people to get that notification. And then you'll see on the screen I've got open, we've got set tracking session duration. This is so you don't leave it tracking all the time and it will stop after whatever time you set. So I went on a walk today where I knew it was going to take me round about four and a half to five and a half hours. So potentially I might set this at six and a half hours just to make sure it doesn't stop before I finish the walk you could set it longer but it means if I forget to manually stop the tracking it will stop when we get to that time and then we've got a location updates every box so we've got options here of three minutes five minutes ten minutes I had it on the ten minute one and you can actually go right up to 20 minutes 30 minutes one hour two hour and four hours max what that does, it's all about conserving battery, of course, as well. What it'll do during that period, it'll take three readings and then send that information at the time set. So if it was set at three minutes, approximately every minute, it would take a reading of where you are, the satellite location. And then at the three minute mark, would send that notification to your friends and family and they would see that live on the map of where you currently are. I had mine set at 10 minutes. So the intervals were round about three minutes. If I had it set at 30 minutes, it would take a reading every 10 minutes. And then at the 30 minute interval, send that over. So it was a simple pressing on the start when I was ready to go, when I had the tracker paired or the, the Motorola Defy paired. So I touched on the start and then it sends the tracking alert to the family members or friends that you've set up. And you can see at the top, I've actually just got a text come through. And on that text, I would just touch on that text on my phone. And then all that happens is it opens up a tracking screen like the one I've got on now. And then you would see the friends movements, whoever's got the satellite defined device, the Motorola defined device moving across the map. So this one here just gives you an idea. This was my movements every few minutes. It was taking a reading roughly every few minutes and then you can see myself moving across the map so the orange ones are as i'm moving and then when it ends it's actually a red one at the end and it had a green teardrop at the start i can change it just to a sort of google style map if you want or you can turn it to the satellite map it will depend on what data you've got on your phone just for that to refresh that's just refreshed now and i can zoom in and out and look at those track points. The little dots that you see between the points are just where it's put a straight line basically between the points. I haven't walked in those straight lines because remember this was recording. Actually, if I scroll down the screen, you can see it's got one here at 127, 130, 133, 137, 140. So it was every three or four minutes it was recording that point. But this is what my family member was able to see, to see my movements either on a satellite map or on a Google style map. So I've really enjoyed doing the beta test in the day. Everything seems to have worked well. The battery life on the device when I started was about 96%. It's went down to about 93%. So it's used about 
3% battery. But again, remember, I did have that set. If I go back to the tracking screen on the 10 minute tracking, I could have set it to send every 20 minutes just where my location was every 10 minutes. And I'm assuming that would save a bit more battery. So it hasn't been launched yet, but I thought it was nice just to show you that, that this feature is coming and we will have tracking. When we get more information about the maximum number of people that you can send the notification to, of course, we'll update things with that information. The other thing was though, when I got sent the web address to go on to for the tracking, in theory, I could then share that to anyone I wanted to. I've actually set it as what we call public in the main settings. So I could actually just share that web address on some social media. Then anyone who clicks on that web address would be able to track me as well while I'm doing, say, an event. But again, we'll do some more testing on that to see how it works. But we hope you found this initial video useful to see what's coming on the Motorola Defy satellite link. And thanks for watching.